Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a painting. Um, it's going to be sort of an impressionistic painting. Um, looser brush strokes, less detail. As some of you might know, I am a pretty detail-oriented person with my eye paintings that you've maybe seen in the past. Of course, with watercolor, I really like to incorporate that detail. But um, this year I've started off on a new kick and we're going to do some painting just to have fun. As you saw, I am using a reference photo, although I'm not using it so much for the shapes or detail, I'm just going to use it for color reference. And so that'll help me get in my darker tones and my darker greens, and just kind of make sure it's the right shade so I could get the same feeling as the photo. In the past year, I have definitely been struggling to create art, but I'm on a new mission to just do it for the fun of it. It kind of got a little bit monotonous for me, and for a long time I didn't really know why. It just seemed like something that I didn't want to do, and if I did, I was scared to do it because I felt like I had to live up what I had previously created, live up to what I had previously created, and that was a scary thought because that requires a lot of energy and, you know, skill, and what if... I'm a little rusty, so um, I've kind of been a little apprehensive to start this again, but I think it's going pretty well. I just decided um, one morning when I woke up that I really wanted to paint, and I really wanted to have fun doing it. Um, I missed just the act of painting, like just putting paint down on the canvas, and so I decided it was time to finally start again. and. Um, I just felt like everything in my life had been directing me this way as well, to start creating again. Um, I started feeling inspiration from other artwork and other pieces and just the world around me. So I decided um, I'm going to do it, and here we are, my second piece this year. So this being my second painting this year, it was really fun not worrying about detail and just doing it sort of like I said at the beginning of the video and in that impressionistic sort of sense where you're just using color not detail exactly and what I mean by that is I usually steer towards realism I like the detail I like when it comes to life by putting those last little um, highlights in and you see it really become photorealistic Although when you're doing impressionistic paintings, it's really cool to see it come to life without that. By just using uh, brush strokes as the medium. I also find that it's a lot easier to reach a sort of flow this way because you're not worrying so much about the detail or copying the exact thing that you see in the reference photo. You're more so feeling the painting, feeling your brush strokes, feeling the way that the paint attaches to the canvas and flows on it. It's really interesting to paint that way rather than painting for the outcome. Um, I was watching Minnie Small's video and she talks about how like how it's called a uh, painting not painted, a uh, drawing not drawn. Um, it's about the moment. It's about the act of painting, not the satisfaction that you get or the egoic buildup that you feel after you've created something that you're really proud of. Of course that's a wonderful feeling, but it's so much better when you weren't criticizing yourself along the way and you won't criticize yourself further along the route. Um, so what I mean by that is I have the tendency to look back on my past pieces and think like I don't think I could do that again. How could I create something that beautiful or that detailed? But it's not about recreating something that you've already created because it's already been created and that's already in the world. It's about creating something new. And uh, Minnie Small also talks about how uh, she likes to put it in this way that you're having a conversation with each piece you make. And every time you make a new piece, you just are ready for a new conversation. You're not thinking about the things that you um, enjoyed in the last one. Just allow that conversation to flow 
in a new way and leave your expectations behind because every moment is a new moment. You know, the past is in the past and we're not going back there, so why um, relish in that when you can relish here? And I did struggle with this a little bit in this painting because I um, started off on a really great note this year. It was like just, oh, holy crap, this is so fun and I was really impressed by my artwork as well. This time um, around, as you see I'm doing the mountains right now, I was really struggling a lot. The water was a lot easier for me, but this time around with the mountains, I was actually referencing the photo with rocks. And so I was going for a lot of detail, and that's when I realized, like, I don't really want that detail, though. I just want it to feel, like, rocky, mountainous. And um, in my last painting that I did, the rocks turned out really cool. I really liked the way that I textured them, and it wasn't a very um, analytical thing. I would say that I did start thinking a little bit here. Um maybe a little bit too much in this painting because I was referencing back to the art that I had just created. You know, how can I make something like that again? Maybe that same style. And I did s incorporate some of that same style into this painting because I really enjoyed it. And so I wanted to do it again. But in the sense that I wanted it to look the same, I think that I was mistaken there. And once I really added those last little touches of the texture with that white paint, it really came together for me. And it was also different because I didn't um, consciously think, like, this is really going to bring my painting together. I'm going to put these here and here and um, do that sort of technique that I used. I just kind of wanted to do it. Um, and I think it really brought it together. It was just a feeling that I had. I would say that the biggest insight that I've had recently painting is to just be in the moment with your painting. Um, it's not really about creating a masterpiece because we're all artists, but do you remember that feeling as a child when you're just painting because it really feels good and fun to just lay that paint down? I've been trying to achieve that and I think I've began to really understand it. I believe instead of going in with the intention to create a masterpiece, just create and have fun. If you guys want me to elaborate more so on how I've achieved this kind of meditative state with painting, let me know. Thanks for watching.